Hello, everybody. Yellow pipe, yellow shirt. Happy pipe week. This is the first pipe I ever purchased almost five years ago from Eddie Gray at the Pipe Nook. It's a Missouri Meerschaum, Missouri Pride, bare naked cob. I'll tell you what, these things smoke great. The reason that I wanted to do this video, though, was not about that very first pipe that I purchased, but about the very first artisan pipe that I purchased. I'm going to do a little short series of videos. Each day this week, I'll post a video that showcases an artisan pipe carver, of which I own at least one pipe. And today, the artisan is Pat Higgins, and I'm going to show you the very first artisan pipe that I ever purchased. This is it, my first artisan pipe purchase made by Pat Higgins, no relation. This Higgins resides in Massachusetts and he's been making pipes for many, many years. I don't know how active he is now. I looked at his Instagram account and uh, his last post was not very recent. So this pipe, which is um, about four and a half years old, of course, it's a bent apple shape, sandblast, beautiful, just light as a feather, feels great in the hand. This is a boxwood shank accent, acrylic stem. Of course, it's been used some. That's just, um, that's a fact of life. That's going to happen. I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to have a pipe and I, I really don't want a pipe that I'm not going to smoke. I, every pipe that I have, I'll smoke. And so this one included, this is my first. And uh, you can see on there, it says P. Higgins Handmade is the stamping. And it is gorgeous. I think you can still get his pipes. You may have to do a little bit of research. Like I said, the LJ Peretti website had a few, but... Uh, Man, it's it's a great little smoker, comfortable, and uh, my first artisan pipe. So began the journey almost five years ago. And there you have it. We began with a cob, we'll end with a briar. I'll see you tomorrow with another featured artisan pipe maker.